Good morning, YouTube. This is Tina here with another quick minute tip. How to apply for GTIN exemption. I put here in this um, search field the actual link of what it looks like, and I will also post it below in the comments so it's easy for you to click on to take you to this exact page in Amazon. So I've had a question on how do I get GTIN exemption for generic? And once you're at this page, all you will do is choose the category which you're trying to get GTIN exemption for generic in. So I thought I would use this as my example. This is just a simple oven mitt and pot holder that I picked up at the local dollar store and you see there is no tag or branding on these items and they're pretty simple and plain so in the selection tab here it will pull up all of the different categories Amazon offers and this way you can select the correct category for your item and in the category, of course, that you're trying to get G10 exemption in. So if you were trying to get it for the home and kitchen category, this product would qualify you in case Amazon does want an image from you. Most of the time for generic, they do not. So here we will type in the name generic. And then we're going to click this button here that says check eligibility. And it says that I am... Um, approved brands, uh, this category and this brand is uh, eligible to be G10 exemption. I will click add product and then it already has uh, automatically approved me. In the instance, Amazon does not automatically approve you and they want pictures of your item. You can do something as simple as this. Submit to Amazon a picture of something like this, an oven mitt and a pot holder that is not a branded item. There's not um, tags on here indicating that this is a brand. And if there were tags on it from the store, that's something that you could simply pull off um, when it is just a generic item. And those images should qualify you to be able to list your generic branded item. I hope you found this helpful. Have a great day.